Hello everyone! So in this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple yet with many functions click sense application chart page I know you can call it whatever you like it yeah so first of all of course uh, I have a program installed on my computer but nowadays we switch to web-based application so that doesn't really matter the workflow is more or less the same or here or or in the web-based application so what you need to do of course you need to open the application and once we're done well I have already a new application created I called it introduction and what we have to do for the sake of simplicity I will use the Excel file but of course you can use SQL or ODBC or any other data source to get your data to your ClickSense application and actually using um, SQL database is a little bit better because we can use SQL scripts in Excel it's harder to do that I have a file on my other screen so I'll just drag and drop it here we go and application loads up the data we have in our file I have prepared this file in my previous video so you can see it and you will get a little bit more details or knowledge what kind of file this is and what kind of data this is because it might take some time to tell you everything what's here now we don't need this one we need this one because we have a formula in here which adds all the data nicely in one sheet of course you can have more sheets and you can connect those sheets in ClickSense very easily but for this example we're gonna use this one nicely made sheet you can choose what columns you want to upload so in this case ClickSense does not show all the data it's, it shows only like I don't know 100 lines and uh, we can't see if there is any data in these columns the last ones so we're gonna upload all of them file format Excel yes let's leave it and header size it's zero so it takes the first line if we would say one then it, it would take the first line of our file but no we have here date, expense title, sum and so on and press green button on the right side add data as it's the excel file it takes quite a short time for the data to be uploaded and here we go we have the new application um, we can get some insights by pressing generate insights button so it shows the data it generates by itself sometimes it might be useful but usually it shows not so interesting data so we'll just skip it let's press edit button and we have fields on the right side the menu on the right side we have fields our columns and data in it and we have master items uh, we're gonna skip them for now but you can create complex formulas in here and then use it quite easily next goes charts in here you can see all kind of charts you can use very easily and custom objects extensions usually you have to buy something from ClickSense to have it here so let's continue without it as well let's say we want to see how much expenses did we had in total we're gonna use field called KPI this one more or less in the middle of course we don't need it such big and now you have two options one press add measure button here start typing name of a field let's say expenses as you can see we have expense title 
Hmm, probably that field is called in a different name. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the fields, press escape button to cancel that one. Let's go to fields and we can see field names in here. So we have sum, expense title, amount. One of these fields is expenses. Another one is revenue. That's a little bit bad because we named our Excel file incorrectly. It should be expense title and revenue title. Well, we didn't do that. We have to use this. Let's just try to use amount. We can take it, drag and drop, add measure and let's say we want to have sum. That means amount. Well, I have some insight information and this is not expenses. This is revenue. Well, still, let's leave it. Let's leave the revenue in here, small and nice. But we want to have it a little bit on the right. So just drag and drop, make it smaller. Let's not confuse people anymore. And let's call it revenue. Yep, number formatting. We can choose it money because we know it's money. We don't want cents because it's quite a big amount. Let's delete it. This is for a plus, this is for a minus. Enter. Here we go. No cents. And uh, as this is revenue, we want to look at green because it's a good thing. Color conditional. Colors off, library colors on, and let's select maybe this one, green. Next, let's add expenses, the one field we wanted to add at the beginning. So let's take the KPI, let's go to fields. Now we know that. Amount is revenue, so sum means it's expenses. Let's add sum as well. Here we go. We can leave it like this. And of course, expenses. And let's make it red because it's expenses. So we have expenses, we have revenues. It would be nice to see a small chart where we could see expenses and revenues for each year. And now we have two options, combo chart or bar chart. What's the difference? In combo chart, you can add additional line, for example. And in bar chart, you can have only bars. So let's use the combo chart because it's a little bit nicer. So we're gonna add more charts soon. Let's make it smaller. And in here there is one important thing. Dimension and measure. Measure is a formula you're gonna use. It can be some, it can be more or less difficult formula. Dimension is something you're gonna make for your chart. So in this case it's gonna be years. Fields, we have date field, click sense was able to discover that this is a date field and we can choose what we want. We can choose year, quarter, year, month, week, date. We're going to use year, let's drag and drop, add date. This means it's being, it will be added as dimension for the measure. Let's add sum. Add measure, sum. Let's add amount. Definitely, we don't want to replace our year. Add measure again and let's add sum. Oh no, what just happened? Our chart has disappeared. Well, yeah, it did disappear. 
but we're gonna change it very easily because this is a combo chart so it changed it by itself let's go to data let's select my column and yeah first one is bars second one is bars as well we have nice bars chart and we have years let's make it more informative and let's show the amount on each bar to do that we have to go to appearance presentation and bar labels let's turn it on here we go again we can make it like auto or we can say it's a money well it takes more space so let's leave it auto because we can see the numbers quite easily what's more we can make this chart slightly more interesting we can change from bars to marker let's say this one we can choose circle square diamond or simple line and now once we made a chart we can use these like a filter let's select 2017 press ok what we have we have quite a lot of expenses and not so much revenue as you can see there are two different scales on each one but it's a money on all of them we don't want that we want it to be the same let's set it to change that we have to go to our data on the right side let's go to well we have expenses revenues everything is fine with expenses and let's go to revenues and here we go we have a secondary axis which means this is this axis we want to be on the same axis primary axis and here you go everything according to a one axis in some cases this is useful in some cases this is not in this case yes this is what we want we have more data in here and let's make it some pie chart let's say you want to know which room generated more revenue let's go to charts pie chart obviously not so big pie chart let's let's make it smaller like this now dimension let's go to our fields room let's drag and drop it add room so it will be added as dimension what do you want to see for a measure days people stayed revenue people generated something else so as we know revenue goes for amount let's drag and drop it let's use measure amount and here we go we can see which room generated money we can make it look different for example like this yeah and well person is fine value labels we can choose what we want we can choose share or values yeah we can see so let's leave it share it's uh, nice to see that now it would be interesting to see how many days the rooms were occupied let's do it for this one we're gonna use slightly different chart a line chart yes so for the dimension let's use year and months let's drag and drop it add and for a measure let's use it days people stayed yep let's drag and drop it let's make it some for now we have a nice chart showing how many days people stayed let's make days visible and let's select show data points now we can see data points as we have our data points let's go to appearance let's go to presentation and yeah data points selected 
value, value labels auto next let's add a simple table yep charts there we go we have a table and let's add the clients and the amount of days we have stayed so let's go fields let's go for the name as this is a table it shows the data right away we have names and we have days yep and as a measure and sum here we go we can see which person stayed for how many days thank you for watching this short well not so short tutorial this was more or less basic things for a click sense but we're gonna go deeper soon and we're gonna have more interesting content more deeper no more interesting content so stay tuned like the video if you like it please subscribe the channel i really appreciate that and see you next time with this cool mic on at last one more time let's check if it's still recording it's still recording very good again